generally with our interlock design with this tooth pattern, it's a half inch tooth. So you've got like what looks a little bit like a tractor tire tread that runs all the way down the top of that wall. So with stitch, whenever you put these things together, so you do not need to clip these and you do not need to glue these. Now there are certain cases depending upon if we've got a short corner to a door or a window. One, one place that I usually do like to either glue or strap down is at the top of a wall on an, a, a 10 or a 12 inch form. Generally with the build block form, you do not have to glue, you do not have to strap or clip. Sometimes whenever we're back on the footing and we're dimensioning out, I will, I'll either keep some clips or some long zip ties because if it's a windy day on an Oklahoma slab and they're moving around, once you put a couple of these together before you start to stack and then lock them together where they've got some mass, they'll want to move around on you. So whenever you clip them together horizontally, that'll help just assist as you're moving along that wall. At the top of the wall every now and then, I will use some foam glue. Six and eight inch cores, usually not necessary, but the larger, there's such a volume of concrete in those 10 and 12 inch forms. When you get to the top of the wall, you gotta watch them. They can get a little light on you.